Since the restoration of Azerbaijan's independence in 1991, and of course since Armenia started the war of occupation and aggression against Azerbaijan and carried out huge ethnic cleansing against our people, a new issue has been added to the agenda of Armenian special interests lobbying in California, where their organizations are working to make sure that the truth about Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is suppressed and it doesn't reach the audience in California. The remarks came from the Consul General of Azerbaijan in Los Angeles, Nassim Agayev, in an interview with CBC. He said that since the establishment of the Consulate General of Azerbaijan in Los Angeles in 2005, the situation has started to change. And today there are many friends of Azerbaijan in California. There is better understanding of Azerbaijan's realities, and specifically as far as the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan is concerned. In general, the educational work that has been carried out uh, has already started bearing fruits in that regard. I would like to mention in this sense uh, uh, the educational work carried out by the International Justice for Khojali campaign under the leadership of Ms. Leila Aliyeva, Vice President of the Hidrali Foundation. Um, and today we can already observe that uh, there is an increasing understanding of what happened during those tragic days of February 26, 1992 in Khojali when hundreds of Azerbaijan civilians were brutally killed and slaughtered by Armenian troops. So there's a better understanding today and as a result um, more and more Americans try to learn about the Khojali genocide but uh, overall about uh, the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. He said that just last year two books were published in California by American authors about the truths of the Kojala genocide and the realities of the Karabakh conflict. Uh, the first book was published by an American journalist, um, Raul Contreras, and the second book was published by uh, a Jewish rabbi, um, Israel Baruch, uh, who actually has drawn a comparison in his book between Khojali genocide and Holocaust. Uh, in terms of numbers, the numbers of casualties, of course, and the numbers of victims, they may not match each other, but in terms of brutality that was applied, Khojali can very well be compared with Holocaust, with that, with that genocide that the Jewish people faced. According to him, this year a documentary film was produced in Los Angeles by the Los Angeles filmmakers, and the film is the first of its kind about the Kojali genocide that has ever been produced in the United States. It was um, presented at the Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles, uh, which is part of the renowned Jewish human rights organization called Simon Wiesenthal Center. So Museum of Tolerance is one of the largest Holocaust museums in the world. And this uh, film on the Khojal genocide was presented at that museum um, and was received with much interest um, by the audience, which consisted of many various religious leaders, uh, community leaders, uh, elected officials, and others. Mm. So then the last few years, we can started observing an increasing interest in these issues, and which is extremely important in terms of educating more and more people about the realities concerning Nagorno-Karabakh and the occupation of our lands by Armenia. Nassim Agayev said that over the last six to seven years, a number of states in the USA have started expressing their opinion about the Kojali genocide. Today, 22 states out of the 50 U.S. states have already expressed an opinion about Kojali genocide and condemned what happened in that town against Azerbaijani civilians. According to Agayev, out of the 22 states, seven states are within the jurisdiction of the Consulate General of Azerbaijan in Los Angeles, which includes Utah, Idaho, Montana, Hawaii, Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico. He stressed that this all shows that a number of American elected officials are understanding the reality of Kojali and the reality of illegal military occupation. Of course, the Armenian special interest lobby is working um, uh, to stop it, to thwart this understanding in the United States, the, uh, trying to um, disseminate the lies as usual about the conflict, trying to portray Azerbaijan as an aggressor uh, and Armenia as a victim. Uh, but it's no, no longer working as it did some years ago. So now the world, but also uh, the United States and public, 
um, but also elected officials, start understanding that actually Azerbaijan and Azerbaijanis are victims and there's conflict, are victims of Armenia's uh, unfounded territorial claims and the victims of Armenia, the, the ethnic cleansing that Armenia carried out against Azerbaijan. Uh, so the situation has been changing um, and I think uh, we should, of course, increase our efforts in this regard more and more. Mr. Ragaev also told CBC that the Consulate General of Azerbaijan in Los Angeles is diligently working to inform the American public about the illegal visits to the occupied territories of Azerbaijan. Bakhtar Hassan of CBC.